Hey guys, it's Stupid Ralph here just to show you a quick tutorial on how you can use the PHP command as well as the MySQL command via your Windows command prompt. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my command prompt window and type in php-v. As you'll see, it won't recognize that as a command. Same thing goes with MySQL. It's not recognized as a command as of right now. Once we add these paths to these uh, executables, we'll be able to type in these commands and have the, com the command prompt execute our commands or execute our files. Um, let me show you real quick. If I was to type in the full path to my PHP executable, which is right here, it will show me the version of PHP that I'm currently running. So let's get this started right now. Exit and first thing we have to do is find out our paths. I have my PHP installed in C, a folder called server, it's inside the PHP folder, and there's my executable right there. So the path to my executable will be C server PHP, which is right here. The path for my SQL is in the same server folder but in the MySQL folder and the executable is inside of this bin folder right here there's your MySQL executable so the, server, so the uh, path to MySQL executable is C server MySQL bin now that we have our paths we can add these to the Windows environment variable path variable um, we're going to go to start settings control panel or however you get there you might just go to start control panel um, system we're going to click the advanced tab environment variables you see user and you see system you're going to go to the path variables within the system variables you're going to click edit and you're going to add this your paths to this variable you're going to start off with a semicolon to let the windows know that uh, you're ending at in this path right here. We're going to start our path which is C server PHP for our PHP uh, executable and C server MySQL bin for our MySQL after a system, we're going to OK these out, but after a system restart, we should be able to use the MySQL as well as the um, PHP command via our command prompt. I'm going to reboot, and I'm going to be right back. OK, guys, I'm back after a reboot, um, ready to test out, see if that worked for us. So right now, I'm just going to go to uh, run CMD, bring up the command prompt, and test these out type in php-v and you'll see without typing in the full path it brings up the version of PHP I'm currently using I can also do the same thing for my SQL if I get the right username you see I'm now in the MySQL uh, client interface um, just type in that show you that I am logged in as demo local host. That's my version of whatever else. That's going to end this tutorial. Um, I quickly want to thank everyone on the Atlas development team as well as the Atlas community, and that ends the tutorial. Thank you and uh, happy development.